In this episode, the first thing we need to do is, um, if you look at my character, he has 12 hit points health out of 48. Um, by the way, he has 694 experience. Oh, I gained a level. Um, so I'm going to raise strength until I get to 15 because we're going to fight in tournaments. Now, I have one, um, and our goal, that's one going to be one of the major things that we do is fight in those tournaments as Tenmura improves his skills. Like a good samurai, he will develop his abilities. Now, what? Um, let's see. We have Power Strike 4. Power Draw 2, Weapon Master 1, and Weapon Master, the limits go uh, 60, 100, 140, 180, 220, 260, 300, 340, 380, and 420. Um, I'm already above 60 on archery, so I am going to increase Weapon Master by 1. I don't plan on getting my party size. Uh, I could use one for tactics, but we're not fighting big battles right now um, against people with like high tactical ability. One in persuasion, at least one in there would be nice. Although one in a lot of things would be nice. So yeah, I'll increase Weapon Master from one to two and um, improve my one-handed. I'm just going to improve everything. My crossbows are way low. Bring that up a bit. Throwing. Yeah, I'm just distributing it. I want to be good in the tournaments with all the different weapons. So, And I'll develop my ability... Eventually, with one-handed weapons is what I'm going to focus on. Right now, I'm using a two-handed weapon anyway. And I will save that. All right, now... We have 13 out of 49 hit points. Our next level is at 1360, and we have 694 experience, 45 in one-handed weapons, 46 in two-handed, 35 in pole arms, 85 in archery, 22 in crossbows, and 26 in throwing. So I wanted to increase the party to 20 from 12, so therefore... And I want some food. So let's go to Yalin. So let's go to Apesh. That'll give me time to heal. And time to... Um, and we can look for food. Actually, let's stop in this Fedner. I don't think we got people here, did we? I'd like to improve this up to... 20. Recruit? No one. We must have recruited there. Buy supplies. Fish? 30 is a good price. 82 is way too much for, for fish. All right. We're heading to Yalin. Let's go to Dumar. Yeah, I'm ignoring fighting those people because I want to let my health grow before finishing with the merchant. Recruit volunteer seven. Whoa. That's way above uh, normal. Oh, I have a Nordic sword. All I need is a shield now. I must have got it from that guy in the tavern that attacked me. All right, I'm going to keep that sword. 
And when I get a shield, I can use it. That's a, that looks like a decent sword. We'll go to Yalen. 19 is pretty close to where I want to be. Yeah, I want to let myself heal. So all the way to Yalen we go. And then we'll head back to Jalkala where the merchant is at. And by then, hopefully I'll be full on my hit points. We'll stop off at Ilvia near Yalen to see if we can recruit. I want to get up to 20. A little bit over is okay because some people will die in fighting. Go to the marketplace. Trade with goods. Let's look at their food here. Grain, 40, too much. Cabbage, 30. Fruit, fish, 51. Everything's too expensive for foods. Butter, 160. Tools, 422. Wine, 180 is a good price. But we're not going to go back and forth right now. All right. Let's go to Ilvia and... Uh, if we get one person, that's all. We'll get up to our 20. A little over again is okay. Seven. All right. And that's it. Butter 141. Grapes 56. Fruit 31. And we'll back it, back the game up. And we'll head back to Jalkala. When I click on the city, it goes back to our people so we can see them. Control space would make it go faster. But I'm kind of watching how he's healing and who he's riding by. If you do control space, you don't really see who the people are around him. Hmm. Have we been to Bavran? Yeah, I think we went to Bavran near Jalkala. Forty eight percent, not adequately healed. Pause. Battle. 51%. You think that's enough? Let's try it. Visit the tavern. We don't have anybody to sell. Merchant of Jalkala. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? How do I know you tell me the truth? Blah, blah, blah. All right, I'll lead your men. Splendid. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice. And frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. You leave the tavern and go out to the streets. Nervous-looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you as you pass by. Praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all-too-obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. All right, let's get, no, let's get the axe out. It's time, lads. Up and at them. Where are they at? Hey! 
Nobody here helping me. You fall down with the last blow, unable to move and trying hard not to pass out. Soon the sounds of fighting filling the street gives way to the cheers of the townsmen, and you realize with relief that your side won the day. Soon friendly arms pick you up from the ground and you let yourself drift off to a blissful sleep. Hours later, you wake up in the merchant's house. Ugh. Oh. Quest completed, save town from bandits, and got a hundred dinars. Merchant of Jalcala. Ah, you're awake. You took quite a blow there. But good news, we defeated them, and you did them some real damage before you went down. If you hadn't been here, it could have gone very badly. I'm grateful to you. Unfortunately, about 13 of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. Let's see. Ah, well, I guess I don't mind a blow taken in a good cause. Yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in a back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before King Gravith and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well... I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully, we'll meet again. All right, tab. Um, let me leave and save it. And see what um, I'm at. So save it under progress. And look at the character. I'm at 808 experience out of 1360. My health is only 2 out of 49. One-handed weapons, 45. Two-handed weapons, 50. Pole arms, 35. Archery, 85. Crossbows, 22. Throwing, 26. All right. Let's go to the tavern. I wish there was some way of instantly healing. The merchant says, Ah, Tanmora, things didn't go quite so well as I had hoped. King Gravith couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of the peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain. A guard who let in bandits will let in an enemy army, if the price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here as a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things himself. I say that hardly seems fair. The merchant fair? This is Calradia, my boy. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as they must. He didn't string me up and instead gave me time to sell my properties, even put in a word with the other merchants that they best pay me a fair price too. That's gracious enough as kings go, but he's a weak king, as they all are here, and weak kings must always look to their authority first, and justice second. I suppose I'd do the same in his shoes." Anyway, I wouldn't go rubbing your part in this affair in King Gravis' face. But he's taken note of you and decided that you're not worth hanging, and that's something to which I'll raise a glass any day of the week. He might even have work for you further down the road, or you can sell your sword to one of his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learned a bit about what it will take to stay alive in this troubled land, and I suspect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
I'm still at health two, experience 808. So none of that's changed. I have 1,045 dinars, over 1,000 and only paying 37 a week right now. I need to heal. So let's go buy something, trade it somewhere else. Um, let's see. Wool, cl wool cloth, 252. Oil, 450. Raw silk, 1,026. Um, wine, 206. Dyes, 240. Butter, 171. Let's buy velvet for 738. Nah, it should be 600, I think, for velvet. Um, let's see. Yeah, velvet by under 700. 738 is too high. All right, let's move to another city and see if there's anything good to buy. So let's try Veluca. With 26 people, I would think not too many people attack us. But still, I'd like to look and see what's coming by. We might start fighting uh, smaller groups. If we see any. I'm at 9% now. Let's stop at Chase, huh? Grain, 10. Perfect. We'll get a couple of those. Cheese, 81. Too high. Grape, 60. Beef, 88. That's a decent price for beef, but um, we'll just stick with the grain that we got here. Uh, six looters. Let's, let's try that. They should turn around when they see those troops. Nope. I'm at 13%. Uh, what do you want? Surrender or die? As you wish, prepare to die. Now, um, 26 against their six, charge the enemy. F1, F1 gets them to stay where they are. Uh, come on. get to the top of this F1 no um, go here and one F3 F1 backspace to see where they are the Oh, no, F1, F2, no, F2, F1. Oh, it's all, they did it, all of them. So let's do one, F2, F1. Oh, none of them are archers. So zero, F1, F3, attack, uh, F1. F3 charge. All right, I got to learn the commands. Well, not very well done on my part. I lost one tribesman. Capture one. Um, 
upgrade two, and I'll upgrade one to a spearman. Move the spearman up. Move the crossbowman up. The falchion, swing 27. The nordic sword, swing 28. 22 for the armor. I have 24, so I don't need it. Plus 3 on the boots. Minor plus 15, so I don't need them. Plus 4, and I have plus 6 already, so I don't need those caps. All right, and we'll go to Veluca and sell our stuff and see what we can buy. And... Uh, We'll see if there's a ransom broker there. Which I don't think so because there was one in the other one. Um, trade with the armor merchant. Sell these. That's 10 dinars. And then to the arms, sell these. And I will sell the falchion. It's 14 dinars. Trade with the goods merchant. Um, 178 for the wine. So we will buy... Let's see. Wool cloth, 250. Oil, 495. Leather work. 235. Um, wine is good under 200, so we'll buy that. 189, we'll buy that. 195, we'll buy that. Butter, 163. Honey, 253. Wool, 175. Hides, 134. I think 134 is good for hides. No, actually, under 90 is considered good. Ales 116, pottery 109, um, cheese 86, dried meat 96, grapes 129, pork 88, bread 51, grain 34, fruit 50. Okay, let's. Uh, so I, we spent 562 dinars. Let's visit the tavern and see if there's. We got attacked before, so we need to be ready. Ralph is here. We don't. Um, we have four seventy seven. Should we get Ralph to join join us? Uh, all right, let's talk to him. Greetings, I am Ralph, son of Ralph, of the most ancient and puissant house of Ralph. Hmm. Uh, I nev I've never heard of the house of Ralph. Really? Well, perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral lands are far away over the mountains. Like all the men of my family, I have come to a foreign land to make a name for myself in the profession of arms before returning home to take over custodianship of my estates. Unfortunately, the authorities in these lands have little understanding of the warrior code and have chosen to call me a bandit and brigand and put a price on my head. A most unfair libel to throw at a gentleman of venture, you will surely agree. But I am anxious to avoid any further trouble, so if you knew, know of, knew of any company of fighting men where I might enlist, I would be most grateful. Well, I run such company and might be able to hire an extra hand. Good. I look forward to vanquishing your enemies. Note, however, that as a gentleman and the holder of a barony, I expect to be in a position of command and not be treated as one of the common soldiers. Very well. I'll be glad to have you with us, um, Baron. Excellent. Before we depart, would you be so kind to lend me 
300 dinars. I had to point a family heirloom at a pawnbroker here in Voluka, and I would like to retrieve it before we leave. Certainly, here's 300 dinars. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. All right, we got Ralph. Let's look at the party now. Ralph, talk. Let me see your equipment. He's got a sword, 27 swing, 22 thrust, a 23 body armor, plus six leg armor, leather jerkin, and nomad boots, plus 14 to leg armor. Okay. And his skills, he's level 10, so he's higher than my level by quite a bit. At 47 health, though, is that it? Strength 10, Agility 9, Intelligence 13, Charisma 10. So there's no changing Ralph's skills for a while. He's at 110 on all his proficiencies. Um, he has Riding of 2. Good, he has Tactics of 2. At least one of us has decent tactics. He has Surgery 1 and First Aid 1. That will help us. His leadership's higher than mine, too. Riding 2, Athletics 3, Shield 1, Weapon Master 2, Power Throw 2, Power Strike 2, and Iron Flesh 1. All right. Uh, and for the Rodok tribesmen, we'll upgrade him to a Spearman. I'll try and get the Spearman and Crossbowman equal of 5 each. Um, let me move Ralph up with the other infantry and the spearmen. Uh, all right, we're going to begin a habit of fighting in these arenas. So we talked to the tournament master. Good day, friend. If you came to watch the tournaments, you came in vain. There won't be a tournament here anytime soon. I, Tan Mora says tournaments. So they hold the tournaments here. Tan Mora thinks uh, uh, as he wishes to improve his skills with his weapons, he is dedicated to training. So he's interested. The tournament master says, yes, you should see this place during one of the tournament fights. Everyone from the town and nearby villages comes here. The crowd becomes mad with excitement. Anyway, as I said, there won't be an event here soon, so there isn't much to see, except there is an official duel every now and then. And of course, we have melee fights almost every day. Tenmora wants to know more about the melee fights. The tournament master says the fighters and knights get bored waiting for the next tournament, so they have invented the training melee. It is a simple idea, really. Fighters jump into the arena with a weapon. There are no rules, no teams. Everyone beats at each other until there is only one fighter left standing. Sounds like fun, eh? Uh, is there a reward? There is, actually. Some of the wealthy townsmen offer prizes for those fighters who show great skill in the fights. If you can beat three opponents before going down, you'll earn five dinars. You'll get ten dinars for striking down at least six opponents, twenty-five dinars if you can defeat ten opponents, and sixty dinars if you can survive long enough to beat twenty opponents. If you can manage to be the last man standing, you'll earn the great prize of the fights, 250 dinars. Sounds good, eh? Can I join too? Ha ha, you would have to be out of your mind not to. Of course, the manly fights are open to all. Actually, there is going to be a fight soon. You can go and hop in if you want to. Um, I'm going to tell him thanks, but I will give my bruises some time to heal. I need to leave now. Goodbye. And now um, let's have a look at where I'm at. So I'm at eight health only. 
you people think I can kill at least three of them before going down? Experience, 838. One-handed weapons, 45. Two-handed, 50. Pole arms, 35. Archery, 85. Crossbows, 22. Throwing, 26. All right, let's try the arena. Hello, Tanmora. Good to see you again. About the melee fights. Uh, now he says, I can jump in, so I say, good, that's what I'm going to do. And I have a staff here. That's one. Uh, he got me from behind. All right. I didn't see him. Haha, ha, that's quite the bruise you're sporting, but don't worry. Everybody gets trounced once in a while. The important thing is to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep fighting. That's what champions do. By the way, I use the right key to block and the left key to swing. You move the mouse in the direction you want to block a little bit. I need to leave now. Oh, wait, let me ask him. Will there be a tournament in nearby town soon? He says there will be tournaments in Tyr, Uxkal, Kudan, and Wurchek. So we will go to one of those cities to improve our skill. I need to leave now. So still 838 experience, one-handed 45, two-handed 50. Um, next turn, we will head, let's see, Yalin, Chalkala, Veluka, Praven, Suno. There's a tournament at Uxkal. So in the next episode, we will journey to Uxkal to fight in the tournament. So thank you for watching. And we will continue our adventures in the next episode.